Like Microsoft Word, when I've signed into Excel with my Microsoft account, I can tap to create a new blank workbook, or once again, they've given us a great range of templates that are built in. And again, like Word, you can tap Recent to continue working on a file that you already started. But in this case, I'll tap Open to choose a file I already have on my OneDrive account. Also, I could tap iPad to choose a file that I have directly stored on the tablet itself. But I'm going to go in and explore and pick an Excel file that I already have stored on OneDrive. It's going to download it and open it directly on the iPad. The first thing I want to show you in Excel for iPad is that you can pinch and zoom with your fingers, just like you could with any other app in the iPad, to zoom in and out. Now this is a great feature for Excel spreadsheets when you're dealing with lots of columns and you just want to see the big picture. So navigating is very easy. Also, you can tap directly in any cell and see the data at the top just like the desktop version. You can also edit data this way by tapping on the data in the top row. It's going to bring up the keyboard. You can make a change and either hit the return key or at the very top right hand side of the screen. You can click the green check mark to accept it or the red X if you want to cancel the change. Tapping and holding a column header will allow you to insert or delete columns. You can also clear the data in columns this way too. You can auto fit them also. Likewise, if you do the same thing for a row, you can insert rows this way too. You can delete rows and you can clear the data in them also. Now, on the Home Ribbon tab, you'll see that you can change the font just like you could in Word. You get font options like bold, italicize, underline, and you can just tap those to turn them on and off. But I'm going to move over and tap on the Insert Ribbon. Here's where you can insert things like tables, charts, and even pictures. You can tap on an empty cell, tap Charts, and insert any of these types of charts that you want, but you can also tap Recommended and let Excel put together the type of chart that it thinks you want. In this case, I'll just tap the first one so that I can show you what it looks like when it's inserted in. So here's your chart, and you can take it and slide it around and put it somewhere else on your spreadsheet. Now remember, because you can zoom, you can easily see where it's going. Now, moving on to the next ribbon tab, let's go over to Formulas. Here's where you can very easily insert formulas just like you can in the desktop version. For example, I'm going to tap on a cell here, although I'll zoom in so that we can see it a little bit better, and I can see that I can type here, and just like the desktop version, there is that function button so that you can start to put one in, but you can also tap the ribbon and insert a function that way in a formula. For example, I can type text and choose a particular function that I'm looking for. So here's where I can put in either the text I want or a cell just like in the desktop version. For example, I'll put in uppercase C20, hit the return key, move out of it, and I can see that it's made that change. It's done an uppercase version of what's in this cell. So it's very easy to enter in all your formulas. Moving to the next ribbon tab, it's the Review tab, and here's where you can see comments that other people have done, especially if you share this out to other people within OneDrive. So this is a very popular choice for collaboration, especially if you're using OneDrive. It's very easy to work with other people this way. And don't forget, you can share it directly through Excel by tapping on the Person icon with the plus sign in the very top right-hand side. You can email links to this right in OneDrive itself. Finally, let's go over to the View tab. Here's where you can customize the way it looks. For example, you can toggle to turn the grid lines of the spreadsheet off and on. You can hide the formula bar if you know you're never going to use it and it's taking up some screen real estate. And you can do the same with headings. Finally, moving down to the very bottom of the screen, here's where you can work with individual worksheets in Excel. For example, right now I can see that I've only got one sheet and it's called Sheet 1. I can tap the plus sign and instantly get another sheet. If I want to delete it, I can simply tap where it says Sheet 2 and tap the Delete button. I can then confirm that choice and my sheet's gone. If I tap Sheet 1, I can duplicate that sheet very easily by simply tapping Duplicate. 
I'll be given an exact copy of the sheet. Finally, like Word, at the very top left-hand side of the screen, I can tap the icon with the two arrows on it to get into the file properties. Autosave is on by default, but I can tap it off and manually save my document. And I can duplicate the file. I can restore to an older version. And I can tap properties to see the file size and when it was created and last modified. When I'm all done, I can tap the arrow with the circle on it. And it's going to bring me back to that main screen. So that's how easy it is to work with Microsoft Excel for iPad.